Germany, 1911. A meteorologist named Alfred Wegener was browsing through some books when something caught his eye. A list of identical plant and animal fossils that had been found on opposite sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Wegener was intrigued. How could the same species have gotten from one part of the world to another? He examined the eastern coast of South America and the western coast of Africa and was struck how the shapes of the two coastlines might fit together. The more he looked, the more links he found. Species of land mammals in East Africa also inhabited the island of Madagascar. How did that happen? Did the animals evolve in both places at once? Or did they somehow cross from one land to the other? swimming hundreds of miles across the Indian Ocean. And then, Wegner saw it all clearly. He realized that all the continents in the world had once formed a giant, single landmass that he called Pangaea, from the Greek Pangaea, meaning all Earth. It was in Pangaea that the plants and animals found on opposite sides of the world had once shared the same home. Then, over hundreds of millions of years, Pangaea had split apart and its jigsaw pieces had drifted to their present locations. Wegener called his theory continental drift. Wegener wasn't the first scientist to speculate that the Earth had once been dominated by a supercontinent, but he was the first to pull together all the evidence and make a strong case for it. Unfortunately, his peers weren't very receptive. There was no mechanism to explain how the continents might plow through the oceans. Continental drift was just too incredible to believe. As a result, his discovery was largely ignored. 